Every entrepreneur who uh, starts a strategic coach program is already successful. So um, we're not a program for people who want to be entrepreneurs or thinking about an entrepreneur or just starting to be an entrepreneur. So all of our entrepreneurs have a lot of successful experience. And I would say by the standards of the world, our entrepreneurs are already in the top five or 10% worldwide of entrepreneurs in terms of their personal success and their business success. But the reason I think essentially why um, the entrepreneurs who get the most out of the program are attracted to coach and they join the program and they stay for decades is that it allows them to escape from them being the a main person, the main producer, and allows them to cross over from where they have to do everything to cross over and have great team members, okay? And there's kind of a predictable first experience that I've had coaching entrepreneurs when they first joined the program, where they say, well, you know, you live in a big city, you operate in big cities like Toronto and Chicago, and there's lots of good people there. But I, I live, I don't live in a place where there's a lot of great people. And uh, so, you know, I, I can't do the things that you're, um, you know, recommending about actually attracting and developing a great team with great people because I, I just, you know, I don't have that kind of great people where we live. And I said, well, I said, that's one way of looking at it. But another way of looking at it is that uh, there are great people around you, but they're not looking for you. And you say, what do you mean by that? Well, you're not showing up as someone exciting to work with. You know, you know, yeah, you know, you're, you, you look like uh, the thing that you do is really hard and it's kind of frustrating. Nobody and nobody, nobody wants to work with somebody where their life is hard and frustrating. Okay. So um, probably you have to show up differently if you want different people to show up. Okay. So there's a great line, you know, by 1900s uh, English writer, po poet, writer, playwright by the name of Oscar Wilde. And he said, be yourself. Everyone else is taken. So the, the whole thing is that the, when I talk about you being yourself as an entrepreneur, be yourself and how excited you are about your future. Okay, be, be excited about the fact that um, you've got a great thing that's very valuable in the marketplace. And if you can be freed up to spend more time creating more value for the best possible customers in the marketplace, uh, an incredible number of really great people are gonna be attracted and coming to join you. And the reason is they wanna grow and they can't grow with somebody who doesn't have a future. They can't grow with someone who's not excited about their business. Okay, so if you want your marketplace for great people to change and transform, and you suddenly have lots and lots of possibilities of people who would love to work with you, the first transformation has to happen in terms of who you are, okay? And uh, the other thing is um, they, they, great people don't wanna join and work for an entrepreneur who tells them how to do everything, okay? They just want to join an entrepreneur who can put out great purposes for their unique abilities, and then they can figure out how to do it. They can be a hero, you know? An entrepreneur who tells their team members exactly how they have to do everything, you can't be a hero for that person. I mean, the, uh, the, the best you can do with someone who lets you know how everything has to be done is that you, you're, you can only fail in small ways if you're really good, but you can't succeed because they know exactly how you should do it. So no, no great person is attracted to someone to be told what to do. They will be very attracted to someone who says, hey, I've got a, a great idea here, and I think it's a real breakthrough for us, and this is what it looks like when it's finished. I think this is really important, and this, looks, this is what it looks like. And uh, so I would 
could you figure out how we're going to get there? And all of a sudden, all their best abilities, their best thinking, their best capabilities, you know, their best problem solving skills come, come out. So uh, if, if, if you can't find great people, the problem isn't the people. The, the, the problem is that you're not showing up as someone that great people would really, really like to work with.